The Solaris Synchrotron is the largest research infrastructure in the history of Poland and one of the mere dozens of synchrotron light sources which function in Europe. Three electrodes are needed to create the synchrotron radiation, which can be used in research. The electron gun produces them, and then electrons are accelerated in a linear accelerator to an incredible speed which is close to the speed of light in vacuum. In one second they can travel nearly 300,000 kilometers, a distance between the Sun and the Moon. Speeding electrons are injected from the linear accelerator into the synchrotron. Thanks to the power of 12 electromagnet blocks, their path is curved, hence they move on a closed orbit while emitting synchrotron radiation. To curve the paths of electrons, Solaris uses 12 integrated electromagnet blocks produced according to an innovative Swedish design from Max 4 Laboratory. The insertion devices, such as undulators and wigglers, can be placed in the straight sections connecting these blocks. They create additional synchrotron radiation. The synchrotron is a small sun on Earth a sun which shines with extremely bright light. Not only infrared, visible and ultraviolet, but above all, X-rays which penetrate through things. Beam lines are connected to the place where the synchrotron radiation is produced, that is the electromagnets and insertion devices. Components of these lines select a specific range of radiation, focusing a stream of photons on a sample placed in a chamber of analytics station. The Solaris synchrotron can deliver its radiation simultaneously to a dozen of beam lines. There's a group of specialists working on the production and providing scientists with the synchrotron light. Accelerator physicists optimize the stream of electrons. Scientists, along with engineers, look after the beam lines. Engineers of different specialties ensure the stable power supply, electrons acceleration, free movement of electrons in ultra-high vacuum, cooling different components of the synchrotron and finally gathering, processing and sending thousands of signals which direct the synchrotron. The synchrotron operations are supervised by the Radiation Protection Officer. The synchrotron is utterly safe to the environment, even though while working it creates harmful electromagnetic radiation. Safety is ensured by special radiological barriers following strict access protocols to all dangerous areas and constant monitoring of the radiation levels. There will be more than a dozen of unique beamlines in the Solaris synchrotron. These will allow groundbreaking discoveries in many disciplines of science. The research will be conducted simultaneously at many stations, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thanks to this factor of research, Polish science enters a path of development which has been followed a long time by all high-developed countries.